Well, oh, that is not supposed You know what? <laughs> I am not going to put up with you today. I'm not going to put up okay. with you today. So that wasn't supposed to be on there. I am right. not about to put up with you Technology today. Technology stuff happened. I, I am was not about to put up with you today. I was trying to get everything. I was trying to get everything set up with uh, getting it shared out in other platforms and all that kind of stuff. Um, and then we were also, we had a whole nother, uh, show plan, but, uh, yeah, I do not like this. It's my camera, fault. It's my fault. It's Tina's fault. Okay. She made it y'all. It's her, it's Tina's fault. <laughs> I'm just so it's happy that she admitted that it's her fault. It's a coach's fault. <laughs> we're going to blame it on him. Okay, so before, I don't know how I want to start this off. Okay, so the Senate did a vote today, and they're they're passing through a bill that will basically permanently, I guess you can say, protect same-sex marriages and also interracial marriages. Why was there 37 Republicans who voted against this bill? I don't know. I, I honestly, I don't know what they have against same-sex marriages or interracial marriages, considering that people who are black and white been getting married for years now. So I don't get their deal. Like what the, I don't get it. So that makes me think that Republicans are full of, of, of racist people that don't feel, that feel like blacks and whites should not be dating each other, each other getting married and having babies. In my personal opinion. Child, I've been going on back since we were slaves. slaves. <laughs> that is true. But then Joe Biden dropped some knowledge on us, y'all. And I'm afraid to play that clip for y'all. He dropped some for y'all that y'all need to hear, especially a lot of you Republicans out there. I got some clips for y'all today. President Biden just called out Republicans by name for attacking student loan forgiveness while they took hundreds of thousands of dollars and in some cases millions of dollars in loan forgiveness for themselves. This is how it's done. Watch. I don't want to hear it from MAGA Republicans, officials who had hundreds of thousands of dollars of debts, even millions of dollars in pandemic relief loans forgiven, who now are attacking attacking me for helping working class and middle class Americans. My team at the White House posted a video, a video of this, folks, online. You should check it out. Marjorie Taylor Greene, she got over, she and her husband got $180,000 in business loans forgiven from the PPP program. She said it's completely unfair for us to forgive student loans for working and middle class Americans. Representative Vern Buchanan of Florida said our plan was reckless. Guess how much he got in that program? Forgiven. $2,300,000. This is not a joke. Can't make this stuff up. Republican governors wrote me, wrote me a letter saying this relief was only helps the elite few. You all know you're the elite few? I knew you were really special, but know you're the elite few. I'm serious. Ted Cruz, the great senator from Texas, he said it's for slackers, quote, slackers who don't deserve relief. Who in the hell do they think they are? I mean, John came with the receipts, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Joe came through with the receipts. I'm telling people, Uncle Joe came through. And now, now here's the thing: like the so the, a lot of these Republicans who are trying to strike down the student forgiveness plan, like he said, some of y'all who are against the student loan forgiveness thing, like he said, y'all had loans forgiven two million three hundred thousand two point three million dollars. Ted Cruz had forgiven. And loans by the government, but yet he's against having ten ten thousand or twenty thousand dollars in student loan forgiveness debt canceled for college students or people who Pell Grant recipients and all this kind of stuff. So I mean, I mean, help us understand Ted Cruz and the rest of y'all 
why what y'all doing what y'all what why y'all think it doesn't make sense is what i want to know uh to the people that's watching on tiktok live y'all get to see the behind the scenes of everything happened on controlling the uh the whole entire show but yeah <laughs> make it make sense it yeah. ain't gonna make sense because I don't like I don't get it like is the money coming out their pockets I guess so huh they can't use it to to eliminate their debt specifically it, it, it's, it's money that they keep in uh it's, it's less of a money money they got I feel like they bonuses and stuff like do, do politicians get bonuses I think they get bonuses I don't know what um, they call. They probably do get extra money if they shave up, like if they balance their budget, probably probably some. Right. Mm -hmm. And I also have another clip that I want to pay uh play for you guys also. So here's some good reasons why the Democrats are gonna be in charge of the Senate. Gas price gouging, it's all Biden's fault. Guess what? It got passed in the House, now it's going to the Senate. Affordable insulin, now it's going to the Senate. Helping with baby formula shortage. You know how the Republicans want you to have your baby, but guess what? They don't want to help you with baby formula. That's going to the Senate. Salt style weapons ban. You know the kind of pew pew that was used at Uvalde? That's going to the Senate. Active shooter alert system. Basically an amber alert for your cell phone if you're in a close proximity to an active shooter. That's going to the Senate. School-based mental health services. You know how Republicans say that it's the leading cause of mass pew pews? But every single Republican voted against it? Guess what? That's going to the Senate. These benefit all American citizens now that the Senate is led by Democrats. Well, shit, the more you know. Exactly. Mm. And they wonder why so many people in Gen that's part of the Gen Z generation voted Democrat. This is why mm. all these things that were put in place there were they were supposed to be going to the Senate to to make sense, to have these necessary laws passed to make things at ease, I guess I can say, or you know, I guess you know, try to make things to make a difference difference in a country a good difference in a country that were that more than likely would have been shot down if it was led by the republican uh party mm. also uh another thing that uh <laughs> here's the thing um i don't feel like just because people are a person decided that they were born in the wrong body um I don't think it's a legit reason to try to cut them off from health care. And when I was driving home yesterday for work, there were some protesters outside the courthouse yesterday because I go past the courthouse and I go home. And they were out there protesting for human rights, which was trans rights. Uh, if you guys don't know, there was a bill that was put in place where if a trans person was under the age of 18, doctors uh, can refuse medical treatment or even per, uh, they can they can turn them down for surgeries or so forth I think I, do, I still think you have to be 18 or your parents have to sign off on the surgery if you're under the age of 18 I believe um, Tina from a medical perspective as you being a medical professional is the body mature enough between the ages of 16 and 18 to go through that kind of surgery? Um, surgery, yeah, I think it's more so like hormones. So, and me, if I was a provider, I would be more um worried about how the hormones are going to um affect the body. Mm -hmm. Um, I know that um some hormones will effectively raise. Um, the triglycerides in your cholesterol, right? The fatty parts of your cholesterol, which in turn can cause a stroke or a heart attack. So you you are going to be more at risk for stroke or heart attack. Um, and it's just a lot of other things, you know, that... I'm sorry, I'm parking off. <laughs> it's a lot, it's a lot of, so to me, it's a hormone part. So the same, the same way a birth control pill, because they're hormones, will affect a woman um, mm -hmm. it's the same way that somebody that is transitioning from um, one to another, right? 
So I feel like that's more so what I would worry about in a teenager or a younger person. I mean, um, medically, their body is fully developed sexually. Mm -hmm. Um, So, I mean, but I think as far as mental status, right? So when you get ready to transition, I believe you have to, in, a, in our state, you have to get signed off by two different providers stating that you were in a sound mind to make this type of decision mm-hmm. um, in order for you to get your surgery. Okay, so that takes, you know, I'm not really sure what's the requirement, like how many sessions, um, what are all the milestones they have to reach, um, things like that. But I feel like I don't know. At a young age, I'd be like, okay, is this really what you want to do? Or maybe if they want to add a more rigorous screening process for those that are younger, then they should do that. I don't feel like it should be a law passing that you can't do that Mm because now you're putting limitations on what somebody can do with their body just like they limited abortion. Mm -hmm. Right? So I feel like if anything, we should make it safer because once they say no, it's not like people can't do it. They're still going to do it because it's already going on in the trans community. You know, until they find a provider, they feel like it's a safe space to go through that transition. They share medications all the time, injections. They have the buccal films that they take, the oral medications and stuff like that. So I kind of feel like that um, it's still going to happen. Um mm-hmm. But it kind of um, is going to create um, a space where it's not safe anymore. You know, nobody's right. going to know correct dosing. And it'll probably be an increase of stroke or heart attacks. You know, things like that. Yeah. Okay. I, I t- oh, I start over oh, y'all. I'm still learning. I'm still learning up. Uh- I am still learning, y'all. This is tech. I'm on. I'm on a new laptop, so still hey. learning. I agree 100 percent with with what uh, Tina is saying. That um, due to the lack of them not giving these giving trans people their proper treatment, it can lead to other health issues down the line. And my whole thing is they pay taxes just like everybody else. So why can't they have access to health care? They pay, they do everything just like any other normal person. There's no reason why they should not be able to have access to health care. It looks like, oh, I thought old man Theater finally had his life together, but I guess he doesn't. <laughs> Are you still alive, Theater? Somewhat. Not totally, but okay. um. Okay. Um. Okay. So before we get into the person who the title was about, that he got life. Uh, I want to play this clip for y'all, and I want to hear. I want. I want to hear y'all thoughts. So I'm gonna play the clip. Pull down my pants. Touch my my um, testicles. They, they like ease down and they put their hands right between my butt. Just pull my drawers down and dug in my dug in my my rectum. The alleged victims keep coming forward. Eight Milwaukee police officers are under internal investigation, accused of performing illegal strip searches, including cavity searches on the streets. Were they wearing any gloves? No, I didn't see not one. There was no gloves. Kevin Freeman Jr. claims back in December he and some friends were violated during a traffic stop. When they searched me. They, they put they they like ease down and they put their hands right between my butt and I try to reach back and they when, when, so when I try to reach back and try to stop them they just got to slam me. <laughs> <laughs> so first of all, we got it seems like we have police officers here that was just raw going around raw dogging people while they were strip searching. First of all, why are you searching these people with no gloves on? And second of all. From my understanding, if they want to do a search like that, aren't they supposed to go do that in a hospital or at the police precinct under a supervision? 
Um, they can they can perform a cavity search on the street with proper cause, I believe. I forgot all of the details behind it. It's been a long time since I took um criminal justice. Mm -hmm. Um but at that time it was still legal. I know for a woman it has to be a female officer. Mm -hmm. Well, I haven't been strip searched like that since the, the early 80s. <laughs> but oh. I'm like, why are these police officers out here just rob, just sticking their raw thing up, you know? But you're doing it without because, a glove. Because right. I feel like, because I feel like it's it's kind of a, um, um, a, a, they're kind of like degrading them. True. They're not giving them the proper respect. So they're yeah. saying, oh, we're going to do this right now like this. You know what I'm you saying? Could. You could bring back some peanut butter. They don't care, man. These people oh. ain't right in the head. They are not right in the head. When they see people, you know, when so they got these personalities and when they see people they don't like, they just do whatever. It don't matter. Hmm. Uh, it, just, it just don't so, matter. The reason why we're all here, well, for this episode, at least for the title of the episode, uh, Daryl Brooks received life in prison without the chance of parole for the Waukesha parade thing where he drove his car to the parade in Waukesha, Wisconsin. Do we agree with the verdict or with the sentencing? Um, I briefly read it this morning. Um, he got quite a few life sentences with like hundreds of years of extra time, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, can you be a little bit more specific with his sentence? All well, I just got the the he just got life without the chance of parole. So they actually gave him how many life sentences he got. I think he got uh, a life sentence for every person that died, and then on top of all the other charges that he got, it equaled up to have ten what ten life sentences or something like that. Yeah. So yeah. Let this be a lesson, kids. Do not drive your car through a parade unless old man theater is there. Do, no, I agree, do, do I agree with the sentencing? Yeah, he shouldn't have done it. I feel like, I mean, they technically go only, they, that's just for show, right? So mm -hmm. they, that's respect. So, okay, you get a life sentence for this, this life, a life for this life, a life for this life, right? Mm -hmm. But I mean, even if they, he, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, it's a rap for him, even if they just gave him life in prison, period. So mm -hmm. do I agree with that? Yeah. Yes, I agree he should have did life behind bars. Do I feel like he got a mental health disorder? Yes, I do. Are they going to address it? Probably not. No, they're not. And I agree with uh, Tina also doing something of that, that nature. I do 100% agree with the life sentence. I mean, you can't, you can't you can't just be out here doing that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? You just can't. Right. What but I didn't like about the whole thing is I feel like they shouldn't have never let him um, represent, represent himself. himself. Yes. I feel like they was wrong for that because he had a mental health disorder. And mm -hmm. they just let that man Go on there and make a fool of himself. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like they wrong for that. They should have got him proper counsel. You know? Mm -hmm. and, and things of that nature. They definitely should have. That was his right, though. It was his right. That, that but was his, he was not... I, I don't feel like he was He was um, going through enough changes to, to say, okay, well, no. Um, he, he got rid of the lawyers or whatever have you. He he was ready for whatever was coming. I mean, I look at it like this. He would have been sitting up there with, with, with lawyers or whatever have you wasting their time. That's another taxpayer's money. 
So, I mean, if he want to be an idiot, he wasn't that, that damn mental or retarded enough to not keep the lawyer. He spoke up, and he, he was speaking with perfectly good sense to me. And I, I just feel like, I mean, it was just right. He did, he, 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 he did what he did. And yes, like y'all said, I agree with the sentences, but I, I just don't agree with them. Keep on, uh, kept on talking about life. Life, 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 life. Okay, well, the fucker's not getting back out. Bottom line. Mm-hmm. He said we have to stay in practice. You know, and, and I felt like the judge was pretty cool as far as naming off each charge and the people or whatever have you that kind of made the family feel okay or whatever have you. But like I said, if he was stupid enough to, well, I'm not even going to say he was stupid. If he's smart enough to, to dismiss the lawyer, He's smart enough to put, for him to sit up there and do what he did. Represent himself. So what you're saying is he saved us a bunch of money. Yeah. What do you say? Walker shall call me. <laughs> I don't know if they went for us as far as the saving money stuff. Right. Uh, so with Thanksgiving coming up, what is everybody's plans for Thanksgiving? I'm pretty sure Tina's fussing right now, so we're going to go ahead and just have me and Old Man Theater going to let us know what's his plan for Thanksgiving besides going to work. That's it. <laughs> My plan was... Say what I'm now? Going... Okay. What? I said how lovely you, you look. Plan for Thanksgiving. Uh, you know, just traditional food. What time? Ah, uh, we can punch know. out about three twenty-three. We can be there. At I don't know, you know, cause sometimes how stuff go, and you know, ooh, black people be running on color people's time, and mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm not Antoine, huh? Yeah. I'm not Montreal. I'll be there. <laughs> I'm Paul. I don't get. I don't get EBT. We're gonna have Paul and that, that green visa. <laughs> Hell, I, 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 I didn't say I wouldn't pay for my meal or nothing like that or help chip in or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not looking for no freebie. <laughs> you probably can cook better than I can. No, nah, but for real though. So I'm doing um, dressing greens, mac and cheese. I'm trying to debate if I want yams or not. Um, cornbread, um, banana pudding. My my son makes the banana pudding. It's really good. Um, I'm gonna have a birthday cake because my other son's birthday is the day before Thanksgiving, so that'll be there. And then I haven't really decided what. Um, Meat, I want to do make horse meat. Um, I'm thinking it's either gonna be ham, but I really want to do like roasted turkey legs. I haven't found a recipe that I'm quite like, oh, I want to try this one out, you know. So, and then I was thinking about doing smothered chicken as well. Well, you ain't gonna make no turkey. I said turkey legs. Oh, turkey legs. Oh, I guess I passed. So, so I don't want um because I can't do a whole turkey. It, it ain't gonna get ate up. Last year I did. I roasted the chicken last year. It was good. I passed. So. So, um, I'm, I'll be making ham. Uh, ribs, some brats. Oh, some, I'm coming to your house. Some Amish friendship bread, some macaroni, yep. some mm-hmm. cabbage. Okay. And I'm thinking about some candy yams. And mm-hmm. um, I don't know what else. Probably some salad, some deviled eggs. Uh, what else? I, think I, usually all- do, I usually do cabbage on Christmas instead of greens. Well, I don't eat greens, so. Ah. 
<laughs> so that's why I'm doing uh cabbage instead. Gotcha. Don't you gotta work for the holiday? It falls on a Thursday, and you know when it falls on a Thursday, I don't have to be there. I'm calling in sick. <laughs> you can't do Hell, that. it ain't gonna be nobody at the hospital. Shit. Well, I don't get no fuck. I'm be sitting out there. That no, I'm talking quick. about patients. That, that everybody, one. everybody signing out AMA to go get that food. <laughs> I'm going to be sitting on to my poor dangling Christmas lights threatening to, to get rid of them if I don't get a plate. Wait. Because Tina drove past my house today. And I can she see the lights on the street. <laughs> she didn't drive on my block. She drove on the actual main street. Going <laughs> and she was able to see my house from there. <laughs> I drove past this house about an hour ago. It was lit up. Talking about some being competition with his neighbors. Ain't not that other Christmas light on on that block. <laughs> None. I, know, I ain't gonna keep taking this disrespect from y'all. Hey, hey, hey Tina. Uh, they, they lights was probably off because he using all the damn juice on the block. He's sucking up all the juice on the block. <sighs> That's why it was so damn dark. <laughs> Just his lights on in his, in his yard. Yeah. You know, I ain't gonna keep taking this just because I'm in the Christmas spirit. That's fine, but you know, you uh, sir, you, I need you to come devise a better plan for next year. We're gonna get you, we're gonna get you, uh, an electrician to roll through that mug. It's okay, some, it's, so, some, it's some questionable plug plugging <laughs> going on there. <laughs> so <laughs> there's only one outlet for the outside of the house, so I got everything hooked up in that one outlet with multiple extension cords and extra lights and stuff. Yeah, it's dangerous, but still, <laughs> lights are burning. At least, hold on, at least he he. Admitted that it was dangerous. <laughs> he admitted it, y'all. He said it was dangerous. I'm, I'm glad he because he didn't. He act like he didn't know what I was talking about after after he showed it to me. I'm calling the inspector. Right. Because right. You know, that's all right. I ain't even come by your house for the holiday. Fuck that. <laughs> be, up, be up in that shit. Get to sparking and shit. Mm -hmm. Ooh. My margarita. They're going to be like, ooh, who's shooting up fireworks? You know, I'm sick of y'all. Speaking what? of the holiday spirit, uh, Fox 6 posted a link, and there was a survey that was uh, done, and it says people are willing to pay 200 or more dollars for a Christmas tree. Yeah. I feel like that's average for a good Christmas tree. Fuck that. <laughs> like a good artificial tree, I feel like it's about 200 bucks. Yeah. That's all right. I got a big ass pine tree in my front yard. That's about the closest to Christmas we're going to get. I'm done. <laughs> Theater, you need to be in the Christmas spirit. I am. Yes. My porch light. Right. In the Christmas spirit. I'm going to turn my porch light on and that's enough. That big ass pine tree, ho, ho, ho. I'm done. I mean, I'm already going to have to borrow the 30 year old from Tina next year because he's going to have to help me go on the roof and put up some Christmas decor. Uh, you got homeowner's insurance? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> That. I can't wait for somebody to put you in the damn home. We don't like them like that. Mm -mm, that's I not mean, happening. That's not happening. I'm hanging with with ye and Farrakhan. Fuck this shit. So, <laughs> so speaking of on the uh, so me and Tina had discussed. I believe it was earlier today or yesterday. I can't remember because I drank. Um, 
<laughs> so we decided that we're going to let the viewers send in their favorite TikTok videos. It cannot have no copyrighted music or material in there whatsoever, just to give you guys a heads up, no copyrighted material. And uh, we're going to let the viewers send in TikTok videos that they think is funny, and we're going to pick from those videos to, to air on the show. And on Thursdays, we can find our own TikTok videos, and then we air our favorites. So yeah. Tuesday, Tuesdays is the viewer's choice, and Thursdays is our choice. Yay! So, you don't want me to pick my favorites. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, so these videos are going to be screened, right? You can't oh. ask anything Super inappropriate, right? Yes, you can't have nothing inappropriate, no copyrighted music, no no movie scenes, none of that stuff. It has to be original content or that or somebody else's original content without any copyrighted music in there. And uh at the because the way how it is downloaded, uh that person, whoever video it is, will get credit for it uh when the video ends. Their name, their TikTok name will pop up on the screen. Yep, so tag us. In oh lord, I don't know. My yeah, name. you can tag us on uh TikTok. So ta tag him in. <laughs> okay, you can tag me on TikTok, Martel Roland. Uh Tina doesn't know her her TikTok uh handle. Old man Theater TikTok handle is probably old man Theo or uh Thea to be or Theo B, one of those on TikTok. I don't know what it is. Uh hey, hey, hey. I just opened a TikTok page, okay? So make sure you follow us on TikTok. Mar I'm Martel on TikTok, and make sure y'all go find Tina and Old Man Theater. I'm uh -huh. Theo B. Okay, Old Man Theater is Theo B on uh, TikTok. Something like that. They gave me I'm the live with my phone. Like <laughs> Fantastic. Um, just a hoe. <laughs> Yes, you are. You, the, the whole you are. Not what? yet. What? What you eat today? Today huh? on Theo's plate. What you got going on today? Not shit. Just working. No, I'm talking about hey, yo. What you eating? Oh, I have uh, pork chops and corn, and a piece of sweet potato pie from the south. I know that's right. I wish oh, I could have bought some of that good old ice cream back my auntie made. That shit was good as a... But I, I farted throughout the whole night and then come out. <laughs> I'm live toast, huh? Oh, Is that God. why your stomach was hurting that day? Uh, no, actually, I, I, I got... When I made it there, for some weird reason, and I love the Waffle House, I don't know if I ate too much because the meds that they got me on said could make me sick. But it's like I blanked out for a minute. What? Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. That's a little bit. That's a little bit more severe than just a stomach ache. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, but I, I was so I was so sick. My my cousin was putting top. Well, I, I got so uh, uh, nauseous. My cousin had to put towels on me and shit. And I was so oh. and it was just as cool here as you. Cool bed as it was here, and he still had to put towels on me. I had to take my shirt off and everything. I was just, I was burning up all of a sudden. Oh, yeah, yeah. that was not serious. Though. Yeah, so I mean, oh man, I don't, I don't know whether I ate too much or I had too much in my system for just straight driving, and I didn't have because I've been eating nothing from the night before. Oh. Yeah. I probably was full of them damn energy drinks and shit like that too, and that oh, didn't. Yeah, like, that's what. Yeah, that's what was wrong. <laughs> that that didn't agree with the food. I, I, that I didn't, didn't agree know. with your body, hell, just right. in general. <clears throat> All that damn caffeine and sugar. Yeah, I was I was fucked up for a minute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, we well, glad that you're not fucked up anymore. <laughs> Shit, mm -hmm. that was a horrible feeling. Y'all just don't understand. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah. He probably was pregnant. You know what? I'm not, I can't deal with you. You Ooh. just continue to find more ways to cut up. 
Um, let's go into our TikTok videos this week. Don't have me mail you no ass whooping. <laughs> uh, so let's get in, let's get into our uh, first video here. Uh, so here we go. Uh, not just hear me out. What if white uh, people don't have rhythm because they never got beat? No, why would that have anything to do with? Bro, I know you did not. Ju- I know you. D- oh, bro, I know you did not just. Where did you get this shit from? <laughs> TikTok. I don't understand it. He said, why if white people never have rhythm because they never got beat? He referred to slavery. slavery. Oh, my God. Let's head into the next video. I ain't got time for old man theater and his shenanigans. Here we go. You know what's crazy about Republicans? It's like, yeah, we all know inflation is high, right? Everybody's feeling it. We all see it. Um, but instead of blaming the companies that are drastically raising their prices when they don't need to, they decide to blame Democrats. Like, literally, these companies' profits are skyrocketing. And, like, instead of taking the Democrats' side, who have tried to hold these companies accountable for their massive price increases, Republicans are just blaming Democrats for inflation, which makes absolutely no sense. That was one of my points, that Gen Z's agreed that they don't like Republicans. They don't like Republicans. I was gonna say that young yeah, man don't like Republicans, huh? Mm-mm. <laughs> oh Lord, ah. no theater. Um, so I got four of my favorite people here. So let's check them out. You know what I was doing at six thirty this morning, arguing with the devil, aka school. You see, I got up this morning to take my babies to school. As I walked to their room to get them up, I noticed blueberry, which is Scoot's fish. By the way, fish ain't never had no blue in it. Just throwing that out there. It's now swimming with Jesus. Little ass is just floating at the bottom. Now, I don't give one shit, two shit, red shit, blue shit about this fish uh, because this fish is a bully. Because when we got this fish, we also got my son a fish at the same time. And Scoot's fish bullied my son's fish until it died. So I figured karma just came back around and got its low ass. Nonetheless, I had to go tell school. Well, she comes running in there. She's like, Daddy, my fish drowned. First of all, you little shit, fish can't drown. Yes, they can. No, they can't. Yes, they can. No, they can't. Yes, they can. I said, school, how they supposed to drown? You realize that's what fish do. They breathe underwater, baby. She said, oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't realize I was talking to a fish expert. No, I ain't no fish expert, but I am an ass whooping expert. And you're about to get it. Get on my face. That's that's how I picture Theo with his kids. <laughs> that's that's you know, exactly I'm how team. I picture Theo with his kids. That's oh, hilarious. Oh god, she said the Lord fish help drown. me. <laughs> that whole baby said the fish drown. Oh <laughs> Jesus! I got okay. We got one more clip for y'all before we head into final thoughts. Good afternoon, guys. Make sure to pass by Cheryl's desk. Today is her birthday. Fuck that bitch. I don't give a fuck. She will be having chocolate and vanilla cake. Oh. Hey, Cheryl. Happy birthday, girl. When it it first popped up, I thought it was all yellow. (laughs) (laughs) To be honest, now that you said something, it could be. I it swear, I swear for a minute when it first popped up, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> what the oh, fuck? Lord. Uh, so, I don't have anything left left playing for the show, you guys. This was the show. It was something that was supposed to be playing. We were supposed to be talking about uh, somebody who got murdered. Uh, what Tina was supposed to be talking about, somebody who had got murdered, and some other stuff that came out about this murder, and it, it was supposed to be like this whole big conspiracy theory behind this murder that Tina was supposed to talk about, and uh, she called me like two hours before the show, like, and said she had to go do some stuff, and so then it ended up changing the whole show around, and this is what you got for today's show. It was literally put together two hours before we went live. <laughs> 
<laughs> so, that being said, final thoughts, Old Man Theater. Yay, Uncle Joe. I'm proud of you. Oh, cool. Um, I just think that we need to be careful of our surroundings and the things that we do nowadays because this world is, <laughs> this world is crazy. I mean, not, not just crazy. It's, it's going straight to hell. But um, I just think we should stay prayed up. That's, that's all I got. Uh, I totally 100% agree. Um, I don't know if Tina is here to give final thoughts to the I'm people. Here. Out there. I'm here. Hold on. Yeah, I bet she ain't drinking today. I was trying to get my drink, and then you said something, so I came back. Oh. Mm -hmm. Get your drink, boo. Okay. I'm going to go get my drink. Yeah. Uh, you see how these people act on live TV, y'all? Now, if this was live TV, I, pull, I was supposed to have to cut to commercial break and all that other kind of stuff. Then the audience would have been mad because they had to sit through. 99.9900 commercials like it's like on BET. They play 27 commercials in between each uh thing. That's a lot of damn commercials. Okay, has everybody else given their final thoughts? Because y'all was like little tiny circles when I was looking at y'all, and I'm like, I don't know what happened. You was turning circles too. Uh, I did not give my final thoughts, but I can't. Okay. okay. So don't forget to head over to Habits365.com. Use code anti oh Also, don't forget to head over to Rest and Use code Mark21 to receive 5% off your purchase. Thank you very much for that. Don't forget to head over to Direct... Uh, nope, no, I'm thinking of the wrong thing. CafePress.com slash saying Cat Different Day Podcast for your podcast merch. Also, this Tuesday will be the mid-season finale. We're, 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 it's not the season finale. It's the mid-season finale. Uh... That will be episode 13 of 24 episodes. So make sure y'all tune in to that mid-season finale um, with us. Also, <clears throat> Prius should be illegal. <clears throat> I don't like Priuses. If you saw my TikTok live earlier, I think Priuses are the most slowest cars on the road. And um, if you if you don't know how to drive in snow, don't do it. I'm tired of y'all. It, it, it's no a half of a half of a half an inch of snow and y'all crashed 27 cars with a half of 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 an inch of snow. Cut it out. And that's my final thought. All right. Well, I'll drink to that. Merry Christmas. And a happy new year. That Final thought. Form. Love on the people that love y'all. Because I promise that will make life a lot more, a lot easier to get through. Like, don't never take anybody for granted. Um, that shows you compassion and love. You know what I'm saying? I'm a big... Um, fan of treating people the way that I want to be treated. I wish it was a lot more of that. Um, never stop reaching for the stars. Don't ever think that um, your age is a limitation on anything. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's my final thought. Yay! Yeah. And I believe in treating people the way that they treat me. If you treat me like shit, you get shit back. So you get what you give, but that's what the reciprocative um, karma of the universe, right? You, you can't always treat people the way that you want to be treated, though. So I start out, I start out treating people the way that I want to be treated, but I also believe that the universe will punish people for those that treat others unfairly. I used to be like that. No way. I, you know, I guess it got to be some, it, it got to be something extreme. Now, I'm not going to say I ain't going to cut you out. Uh, I ain't going to fuck with you. Uh -uh. So, 
Oh you know? yeah, that's but yeah, you can distance yourself absolutely, but then you know I I believe in karma strongly. It's always gonna come back to you to that person. Oh, y'all wanna hear something funny, right quick? I I I, I text somebody a message the other day, and I let them know about themselves because um I didn't want to tell them straight out while I was talking to them on the phone, but I, I had to get off the phone and realize that I was somewhat being checked. Oh. And I, I, I noticed it. I acknowledged it. But I kind of let them hung up. Then I, I text them back a nice, pretty nice message because I know about was it what nice for real, Laura? Yes, yes. <laughs> okay. it, it was real nice. Okay. And I, I I did it in a way because I know me. If I okay. could have got to Iowa, I would have been whooping some ass. Okay. Um, and I was real polite and everything about it, and I got a response. Well, that's the cowardly way out. No, it. And I had to text them back in a real comment. I said, No, it really wasn't. All you have to do is give my nephew a call, and he'll tell you, you, you got the easy way out. <laughs> so I, I, mean, I, I done learned throughout the years that people look at me crazy now because the attitude that I used to have back when I was younger. Um, look at me now like, is this motherfucker for real? Is crazy? No, I'm, I'm, I'm more cool than I, I can... I piss people off when I silence myself at times to keep from fucking somebody up. And a lot of people like arguing, being, I, I don't like a lot of pettiness around me. And <laughs> my trailer tell you that when people come around, I just want to talk different and buku shit. Uh uh. We, we're not having it. Or, or, or he'll say something crazy, or I'll say something crazy. Just get the fuck away from me. So. Zero I'm the power. queen. I'm the queen of walking off in in, in the middle of your conversation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, y'all hates when I do it. We we've been a whole I don't care what you talk argument. About. <laughs> I, I, I say two two words and walk off and don't say nothing and go sit down. He'll come follow me and I'll still keep sitting there not saying nothing. He get, it pisses him off every time. That, every that sounds sound like my soon to be ex wife. She gonna ask me the other day. Do you hate me? I said, no. I mean, we was raised not to hate, and that that was a uh, a thing. If you if you if we even said hate in the house while my mom was living, my mom would punch you in your damn mouth. No, hey, I, I, I don't hate you. I just don't oh have God. conversation for you. So I kill people when I I, I told them I said y'all got the better side of me now because I I. I I silence myself in a lot of ways. I don't talk to you. I don't say nothing. And, and that pisses a lot of people off, I notice, but I can't help it. I, I, I got to keep my sanity, what little bit I do have. And shut the fuck up, my girl. He ain't got, he ain't saying either. No, no, I, no, no, I no, no, no he, he, I am he, very he, sane. Hey, 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 Tina, I was trying to keep it quiet while he was sitting up there with his hair in his eyes. Cause he's gonna say something fucking stupid. So I'm, I'm nipping it in the bud before he gets that far. I wasn't even gonna say nothing. You a damn liar, and I'm glad that I'm not in the house with you. Cause if lightning was to strike, it'd strike your ass real hard. Uh uh, real hard. I drink to that. <laughs> okay, okay, real hard. Real. I've had about seven or eight glasses of margaritas in here today. So I am too drunk to whatever, whatever, whatever you was fussing about. Fuck it. I don't know. Damn. <laughs> Wait a minute. You were just sober. What happened in the last five minutes? Okay, first of all, I'm able to do the show. So I know how to perk up enough to do the show. Okay, but now that the show is over, I ain't gotta hide the fact that I'm drunk now. So <laughs> Well, it's not totally over because we're still on air. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, hell, they get what I mean. Yeah, we got through the show, and now <laughs> I can let the drunkenness back out. 
Y'all yeah. got the extended cut today. Yeah. Uh, thank no you guys film, for watching all the behind the scenes. So y'all guys are seeing the screen right now of how I operate the show behind the scenes that the other people don't get to see. So y'all are lucky to get to see this. And don't forget to hit some likes button. If y'all hit that like, he gave me some likes, tap that screen for some likes and stuff. That would be uh, greatly appreciated. You know, thank y'all for watching. Is the stars there anything too that we can get something? Uh, we can get uh, one eight hundred choke that hole. Oh, oh, beat that bitch for oh, our I'm, TikTok I'm segment. So, so Martel, for our TikTok segment, segment, are we gonna give away a free piece of merchandise for the winner? Some lights, Christmas lights. Oh Lord! And a bottle of wine. Yeah, so we can give out some uh, merch. I will personally purchase it from our store, our merch store, and have it shipped to your house. If your uh, video was picked to win the um, the on for on the show, so you guys tag us in a video, or you can send us if you can direct message it to us on Facebook, Twitter, all my social media names are the same. You can follow me on anywhere. Follow me, find me anywhere, which is Marta Roland. You can send in your videos. Make sure that it's no copyrighted material in there. If it's another video that if you've seen of somebody's um, and you liked it and you thought it was funny and you want to submit it, you can submit it. Just give that person a heads up that you are going to be sending it, their content into this podcast and get paid. But if it's your own content, send it in. No, with, no, no copyrighted material. All original content. And if it's picked to be on the show, we'll send you some free podcast merch. Yay! I was I was suspecting a response from Theater, but okay. Uh, uh, and then you can also email it to us at uh, it's scddpodcast at gmail dot com if you choose to email us the the clip or video. Uh, I don't know Tina's. Uh, TikTok. I know she's on there. It's probably Tina 90 something. I don't know. 80 something. I don't know. And then Old Man Theod, so he said he's on there as Theo B. So you can find any of us. Uh, I'm on Instagram too as Martel Rowland. So y'all go and find me. I'm out there. She's looking it me. up now. So, huh? Tina looking it up now. Lord have mercy. Oh, but, no, I was actually reading my email. Sorry. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. You don't have to pose like that and look all sexy and shit. Anyway. Anyway. Ah. Dude, we got some stupid... Never mind. I'll wait until after we click out of this. Oh, man. See, it's... Okay, we're all back. Okay. So, with that being said, this has been Saint Cast for Day Podcast. The number one podcast in Wisconsin for current events and pop culture. We are the ones, you are the two. And we will see you all on Tuesday.